our next chapter is exploring computer memory in this chapter you will learn understanding computer memory bits and bytes types of computer memory primary memory and its types rom and ram secondary memory and its types cloud storage and its advantages understanding computer memory a computer memory is just like a human brain and is an essential element of a computer the basic purpose of memory whether it is human or machine is to keep a record of information for a period of time computer memory is the storage space in computer where data is to be processed and instructions required for processing are stored without its memory a computer is of hardly any use our next topic is bits and bytes all information in the computer is handled using electronic components like the integrated circuits semiconductors all of which can recognize only two electronic states that is presence and absence of an electronic signal two symbols used to represent these two states are 0 and 1 and are known as bits an abbreviation for binary digits 0 represents the absence of a signal and 1 represents the presence of a signal a bit is therefore the smallest unit of data in a computer and can either store a zero or one since a single bit can store only one of the two values there can possibly be only four unique combinations bits are combined together into larger units in order to hold greater range of values bytes are typically a sequence of eight bits but put together to create a single computer character alphabetic or numeric bytes are used to quantify the amount of data digitally stored on disk or transmit over the internet and are also used to measure the primary memory and document size in this slide we can understand the units of computer memory measurements 8 bits is equal to 1 byte 1024 bytes is equal to 1 kilobyte 1024 kilobytes is equal to 1 megabyte and so on 1024 bronto byte is equal to geobyte geobyte is the highest memory measurement unit now we will understand the various types of computer memory memory is the major part of computers that can be categorized into several types memory is the best storage part of the computer users to save information or programs the computer memory offers several kinds of storage media to store data temporarily or permanently computer memory is primarily of two types primary memory where we have rom ram and cache and secondary memory where we have magnetic optical flash and cloud primary memory also known as main storage or internal memory is the area in a computer in which data is stored for quick access by the computer's processor this is used by the cpu to keep copies of files programs and other temporary information used by the cpu when it is running the cpu interacts closely with primary memory for both instructions and data This type of memory holds data as long as the computer is executing a program. The main memory of a computer system is divided into three parts that is rom, ram and cache memory. Rom stands for read only memory, a type of a memory from which we can only read but cannot write. In the rom, information is stored permanently by the manufacturers and is required to start computer that is BIOS chip. BIOS stands for Basic Input Output System. In every simple terms, the BIOS chip wakes up the computer when you turn it on, reminds it what parts it has and what they do. RAM, commonly known as memory in an acronym for Random Access Memory. RAM devices are used in computer system as the main memory. RAM is considered a volatile memory which means that the stored information is lost when you turn the computer off so 
RAM is used by the central processing unit to store the information that needs to be used very quickly. But it does not store any information permanently while working on computers. Cache memory is a very high speed semiconductor memory located inside the main processor chip which is used to speed up CPU. It acts as a buffer between the CPU and the main memory. It is used to hold those parts of a data and program which are most frequently used by the CPU. We will understand the volatile versus non-volatile memory. Memory can be either volatile or non-volatile memory. Volatile memory is a memory that loses its content when the computer or hardware devices loses power. Non-volatile memory is a memory that keeps it content even if the power is lost. BIOS is an example of non-volatile memory. Secondary storage is one of the most valuable assets of the computer. It is storage media or device separated from the computer itself, where software and data can be stored on the permanent basis. Secondary storage is necessary because memory or primary storage loses its data when the computer is turned off, whereas secondary storage does not. Therefore, it is commonly known as non-volatile storage. The data on it stays there until it is deleted or overwritten by the user. Now we will learn the advantages of secondary storage devices. First advantage is it is non-volatile storage. The secondary storage devices are non-volatile in nature means they never lose their data when the power is switched off. It is permanent storage device to store information for later use. Second advantage is mass storage. The capacity of these devices is very high which means we can store huge amount of data into the secondary storage devices. Third advantage is cost effective. The cost of these devices is much lesser as compared to the main memory hence they are considered an effective medium to store information fourth advantage is reusability the secondary storage devices are always reusable which means they can be erased and stored anytime we can add or remove the contents from these disks when we require fifth advantage is reliability Data in secondary storage is safe because of high physical stability of secondary storage devices. In this slide, we can see various types of secondary storage devices. In the secondary storage devices, we have the magnetic memory, optical memory, flash memory and cloud memory. In the magnetic memory, we further have floppy disk and hard disk. In the optical memory, we have CD, DVD and Blu-ray disk. In the flash memory, we have pen drive, memory cards. Magnetic memory versus optical memory. The magnetic memory uses the property of magnet for storing data. It contains data storing surface coated by magnetic oxide. Optical memory uses light beam for its operation. It is mainly used for storing audio, video, backup as well as for carrying data. Floppy disk. A floppy disk is a portable storage device that stores data permanently. The floppy disk drive is used to read and write data on a floppy disk. Floppy disk may be mini floppy disk or micro floppy disk. The storage capacity of a micro floppy disk is 1.44 MB that is megabyte and of a mini floppy disk is 1.2 MB. Floppy disk is a thin plastic disk coated with magnetic material for storage of data or information. Floppy disk has a hard outer covering. It is inserted into the disk drive while saving information or copying files. Thus. The files can be transferred into other computer. Floppy disk gets damaged easily and therefore nowadays it is not used. Hard disk. 
The personal computer has an internal magnetic hard disk on which it stores the operating system, programs and information. It can hold large amount of data and the information stored on the hard disk is permanent unless the hard disk is damaged or you instruct to delete it. The term hard is used to distinguish the hard disk from the diskit or floppy disk. Hard disk hold more data and access information faster than other storage devices. The storage capacity of a hard disk is measured in gigabytes or terabytes. Compact disk or DVD. Compact disk or digital video disk is also called as optical disk and it stores huge amount of data permanently. Data can be stored in audio, visual or text formats. CD or DVD is a portable disk that can be used for transferring data and programs from one computer to another computer. Since CDs and DVDs are reliable storage devices, they are also used for keeping backup copy of data and programs. DVD has many advantages over the earlier generation of compact disk CDs. The single sided DVD ROM disk have 4.7 GB capacity roughly 7 times that of a standard compact disc that can store 700 MB of data. DVD also allows the storage and playing of full length feature films on a single disc. CD or DVD burners are devices that are used to read and write the data on CD DVD. The use of a laser light source to read the data makes CD DVD roam part of an optical disc family of technologies. Blu-ray disc A Blu-ray disc is the name of a new optical disc format that offers more than five times the storage capacity of traditional DVDs and can hold up to 25 GB on a single layered disc and 50 GB on a dual layered disc. Blu-ray is the successor of DVD designed to display high definition videos and store large amount of data. In the below table we can see the various types of CDs, its name and whether it is erasable or not. The first type is CDR that is compact is recordable. It is not erasable. Second is CDRW that is compact disc rewritable, it is erasable. Third is DVD-R that is digital video disc recordable, it is not erasable. And fourth is DVD-RW that is digital video disc rewritable and it is erasable. USB drive or pen drive. Pen drive is also called USB flash drive. These small plug and play drives are removable as well as rewritable and are used for transferring data and programs from one computer to another computer. You can use a pen drive to copy or transfer data, songs, games and programs. Different storage capacities of pen drives are available in the market. Multimedia memory card the multimedia memory card which is about the size of a postage stamp uses flash memory as storage media for portable devices like digital camera, camcorder, mp3 player, mobile phone such that it can easily be removed from access by a personal computer. In this slide we will learn the precautions to be adopted while using pen drives from the personal computer. Don't open pen drive with autoplay option. Auto run feature is more harmful than being convenient because with the help of any malware or viruses in the USB drive can get executed automatically. Put the pen drive and wait till your PC detects it and after it detects scan it with antivirus. Eject your pen drive only with the safely remove option on the right side of the taskbar. Don't restart your computer when the pen drive is plugged with USB port. Cloud storage. In this world of internet, people are increasingly opting for cloud storage services for saving their data 
to off-site storage systems that are maintained by third parties. With the files saved on the internet, people are no longer required to store files on local storage devices or on computer's hard drive. Files saved to the internet are more secure and there is a lesser risk of losing data. What is cloud storage? Cloud storage is network storage available over a specific network or the internet. Cloud storage allows you to store resources such as computer files on remote computers called servers. This remote infrastructure is installed and managed by highly specialized companies that are experts in what they do. Advantages of cloud storage First advantage is it's economical, no additional storage devices are needed. All you need for online backup is an internet connection. Second advantage is once backed up, your files can be accessed whenever you need them anywhere in the world. Third advantage is it automatically backup or updates the files whenever you make any changes. Fourth advantage is with cloud storage, you can share your files, photos and videos with the friends and family wherever they are, whatever the size. Fifth advantage is the risk of losing important files and informations are less. And sixth advantage of cloud storage is data kept by the users within the cloud services remain absolutely safe and secure from all types of unauthorized use or access. Now we will revise the things that we have learned in this chapter. First. Computer memory is any physical device capable of storing information temporarily or permanently. Second, information in the computer is managed by electronic components that can recognize only two states, that is, presence and absence of an electronic signal. Digit 0 represents the absence of a signal or digit 1 represents the presence of a signal or current. Fourth is, bit is the smallest unit of a data in a computer and can either store a 0 or 1. Fifth, byte is a sequence of 8 bits put together to create a single computer character. Sixth, geob byte is the highest memory measurement unit. Seventh, Primary memory is the area in which data is stored by CPU for processing. ROM, read-only memory, is a part of computer's main memory from which we can only read but cannot write on it. It is a non-volatile memory which means it stores information permanently. RAM, a random access memory is the main memory used by the CPU to store data and instructions. It is considered volatile memory which means the stored information is lost when you turn the computer off. Cache memory is a very high speed semiconductor memory located inside the main processor chip. Secondary storage devices used to store large amount of data are non-volatile in the nature which means they never lose their data when the power goes off when we switched off the computer. Hard disk is the primary storage device for a personal computer and is also known as a fixed disk. Compact disk or digital video disk or Blu-ray disk are also called as the optical disk and are stores huge amount of data permanently. Compact disk can store 700 MB of data. DVD disk have 4.7 GB capacity to store. Blu-ray disk can hold up to 25 GB on a single layer disk and 50 GB on a dual layer disk. Cloud storage is the networked storage available over a specific network or the internet that allows you to store resources such as computer files on remote computers called servers.